Kim Kardashian enjoyed a wholesome family day with niece Penelope, 5, and grandma MJ on Friday. Elsewhere though, the social media stunners on off rival Taylor Swift was trying to reignite her feud with the Calabasas native and husband Kane West. Last night the 27-year-old songwriter dropped her new single Look What You Made Me Do, with a source telling TMZ the revenge-fueled song is definitely about the Kardashian Wests. Kim appeared to take the high road on Friday, as she shared a sweet snap of three generations of her family together. The mother of two puckered up to niece Penelope, who is Courtney's daughter, while they sported Snapchat's flower crown filter. Grandma MJ also got the selfish treatment as she cuddled close to her superstar granddaughter and smiled for the camera. Earlier in the day, the reality star shared a candid photo of her son Saint, 20 months, playing in the yard barefoot which she captioned with a simple good morning. Husband Kane was minding his own business across town, seen making a phone call while leaving his Calabasas office in a distressed My Bloody Valentine shirt. Last night the internet was set ablaze when T-Swift released her first single in two years online. Look What You Made Me Do is full of references to West, appearing to address how the couple betrayed the country crossover with the lyrics to Kane's song Famous. The drama began when the college dropout rapped about the possibility of having sex with the pop starlet, while claiming he had the White Horse singer's blessing for the lyric. The offending song contained the words, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex slash why. I made that B asterisk TCH famous. Afterwards Swift's team released a statement claiming, Kanye did not call for approval, but to ask Taylor to release his single famous on her Twitter account. She declined and cautioned him about releasing a song with such a strong misogynistic message. Taylor was never made aware of the actual lyric, I made that BCH famous. But months later wife Kim brought out the receipts, sharing video of the conversation which offered damning proof that Swift was well aware of his intention to refer to her in a track on his latest album, The Life of Pablo. Kim posted her video recording of the phone conversation on Snapchat, where Taylor was heard describing the name check in Kanye's album track famous as a compliment. Not long after West's video went viral, Swift wrote on her Instagram page, being falsely painted as a liar when I was never given the full story or played any part of the song is character assassination. I would very much like to be excluded from this narrative, one that I have never asked to be a part of, since 2009. The ex of Harry Styles and Calvin Harris is attempting to get the last word with her single and forthcoming album, titled Reputation. Right now Taylor's Instagram features several tantalizing snippets from the song's yet-to-be-released music video, where she plays femme fatale in dramatic makeup and layers of serpent-inspired jewelry. The video for Look What You Made Me Do is set to debut Sunday night during MTV's Video Music Awards.